Well, hello there, my fellow rushers. How are you doing today? King Rex here. And today we're going to be doing a challenge that was requested by one of my subscribers. He wanted to see me beating uh, Dusk Chateau on the highest difficulty with Dante and the Scary Towers, which in this case are Necromancer and Tribal Axe Tower. And that should, shouldn't be that difficult. I can see how it could be difficult for like a beginner, but for me, this is just a walk in the park. So, let's get the most basic setup ever. Necromancer start with a level 3 archer. And probably another mage up in here. And let's a go. Let's go and destroy. Now, with, with, when you're doing a challenge like this, where you have lim when you have limited options, you have to think what is going to be your main weakness, because that's where y the Reign of Fire comes in, usually. Well, our biggest weakness is going to be Lycans. Lycans are kind of the issue. Even though we can block them for quite a while with enough skeletons, with, without the risk of getting extra werewolves in the process, they still are difficult to stop. And Dante, he's not the best at stalling them. Sure, he has he has a good amount of health, but his armor is what, he, or shall I say, his lack of armor is what really kills him. So yeah, that's gonna be a little bit problematic to to, to deal with. Okay, let's get let's get you here. Dante, move, please, please, Dante, come on, stall that abomination. I thought that your AI got reworked so that way it is smarter, but I guess it's not really. Okay, do this, do this, do 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 Zombies are coming in, and I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't know how we can do. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna survive. Oh, this. Yeah, three white people. Ooh. All right, that was a little bit intense. Now wasn't it? Yep, it was kind of intense. I'm gonna lie. I got scared for a moment. Just for a tiny baby moment. Uh, nothing much more than that. Second ray of fire. I know, the, the early game is starting off pretty wildly, but that is the way it is. That's the way I like to, to do it. Alright, we're gonna get some mages up in here. Lucrezia, I think you dealt your job. You, you're done with your uh, business, so you know what to do. Get to the ghosts and start uh, slicing them. There you go. Perfect. Now we have to kind of keep moving you along because you can't block them. So we're gonna do this. Just keep on walking. Walk, al walk along with the ghosts. There you go. Ooh, this is actually kind of intense now because we have a moot bow. Uh, what would you call it? Uh, Phantom warriors. No, 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 no. Well, I want you to catch the ghost and the Phantom warrior. Or I guess well, only one. I guess that also works. Uh, another mage. Toss in that holy water. Toss in the holy water. And move out of the way. GG. We, we dealt with them. Now it's time for the abominations. Sadly, I cannot use the rain of fire because I pretty much need it for the next wave. Poor crazy ended up dying on me. That was not good. Nope. That's not good at all. Oh, This is going great now, isn't it? And to be honest, uh, yeah, I will admit it, I'm kind of messing up because I, I was thinking that I was going to do, be done with this level by like the second try, but due to due to the sudden uh, technical difficulty that I, that I had with um, the the echo, the echo from my microphone, I, I kind of had to, you know, uh, basically what I, yeah, I, I think I've said it, I think I've already said it, so it, it doesn't matter, but basically, uh, my recording got got messed up, and like the first time I did it, I didn't record it because you know that was my quote unquote testing attempt, and I wasn't quite sure as to if I'm as to how this challenge is gonna go. But I, I was able to beat it first try. Then on my second attempt, I recorded it, and everything was going fine. And then I look take a look at the video before I you know start rendering it, and it turns out that it has a, a crap ton of echo, and um, and you can barely understand what I'm saying, which is. You know, annoying, to say the least. So I had to record again, which, you know, it sucks. It's not like, uh, it's not too bad, but, you know, it's not a, a pleasant thing either. Plus, uh, I'm kind of having a limited time for today. Because this video, as as most of my videos are, it is pre-recorded. And at the time of this recording, I kind of have to go. Because um, I have some work. I have some work today, and I can't, you know, play as much Kingdom Rush as I want. Because, uh, reasons. And I don't have to explain myself for, like, literally everything. 
I think. So, what is our next priority? What do we want to get next? I think I'm gonna go for an archer. Just a level 3. Nothing too fancy, just level 3. He's gonna turn into an axe thrower later on, but for now, we don't really need to. We have more important things to spend our money on. Like more necromancers and death riders. Because the death rider is like one one of our only consistent uh, blockers. You know, he stays there, he has a set cooldown, unlike the skeletons where you need to kill enemies in order for anything to happen, really. Alright, here comes uh, more vampiresses. Just splice, destroy. That's how easy it is. I don't know why people say that vampiresses are a terrible enemy. They're not. All you need to do is just micromanage. And, and yeah, for the people who hate micro, I can see why this could be an issue, but come on. You have to admit it, micro is key. If you micromanage Lucrezia, they are a joke. If you don't, then yeah, they are not. But for the most part, I don't find them to be like super threatening. Even when I did when I beat this level with only mages, I didn't find it to be. I didn't find the what would you call it? Uh, vampiresses to be super difficult. Were they annoying? Absolutely. Were they like the worst thing in the world? No, not at all. If anything, the, the Lycans were much harder because I always ended up losing to like a couple of them on wave 15. And you don't know how, how annoying it could be unless you've tried. Anyway, already at halfway through the level, not bad. Now here we have a small group of Lycan which is gonna get absolutely annihilated by Arena Fire any minute now. But before that, let's get more uh, Necros. I want more Necros. As, mu as much as I want to get Totem of Weakness like right away, I am not gonna do it. I think there is a better way to spend my money. Okay, we'll get ready for Rain of Fire! Perfect timing. Every the Lycans were destroyed. Now we are gonna get the Totem of Weakness because Abominations exist. And yeah, they are not an easy foe to deal with. 2500 HP. Even though they are, you know, severely... Uh, they, they got nerfed from the original Kingdom Rush. In the original I think they had 3000 HP. Here they only have 2500. Still, that is quite a, a decent amount. It's nothing to laugh at. It is a good amount. And still, even with the Totem of Weakness, they still do a decent amount of damage. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure how well we're gonna do. It's just a matter of micro here. If you don't micro and you let both of your heroes to, to die, yeah, you're not making it very far. <laughs> because, yeah, look at that, look at that. They just keep on dying. <laughs> Alright, Lucrezia died, but that's okay. We were able to survive, and that's what matters. Now, the next wave is just a joke, nothing but bats, like, bruh, bruh moment. Do you think that bats are difficult? I don't think so. However, as you know, this level likes to play tricks on you and send vampiresses on every easy way, because it's like, eh, yeah, this is easy, but how about we toss in some vampiresses to make it more difficult? In reality, it is not more difficult, it's just more micro that you need to do, which, you know, for some people that is bad, but for me, it just... Another another day another day another walk in the park if you if you if you, if you would oh that was a that was a bad uh, ability usage there I should have used it a little bit more wisely oh well we need to instill this group though because there's like four of them at once come on yeah, there's one alive but it's okay I think we can deal with one vampiressa without too many issues at least I think so don't don't use your abilities no 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 no, no. We're grouping them up, and then you use your abilities. Right about now. Nice. And skilled quite a few of them. We're gonna need another Death Rider pretty soon, though. Ooh. Alright, this group is getting kind of intense. So, let's just slice them. Slice them out of existence. Okay, I think we're Gucci at this point. Yeah, we're fine. I thought that we will have some issues for a moment due to the micro mistake, but nope. I guess Dante helped out quite a bit. Or maybe it was just, uh... Maybe the Totem of Weakness was what really helped out. I don't know. Whatever it was, we survived and that's what matters. Now we're gonna get a Dead Rider up in here because the next wave has, uh... Oh, actually, no, it is another easy wave. Just zombies. Wow. It's so easy that I'm even gonna take a break for uh, some water. Ugh. Oh, much better. Alright, time for Vampiresses. Vampiresa. Well, we're gonna just walk around. Walk around them. Wait for, until they group up nicely and... Slice. Oh, come on. How did you miss... 
I don't know what happened, but uh, she used her ability, the Vampiress was alive for a second, and then it, it died. Um, I don't know if that was a visual glitch or whatever, but anyways, as the important part is that it, it died. And yeah. Okay, more Death Riders. We're gonna need another Axe Thrower in a minute, but first things first, max out the magic damage output. That's, all I, that's what I want. The maximum magical damage output. Because uh, due to the Brilliance bonus, your, th your magic towers can do more damage based, based on their numbers. And I think the maximum is 9. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is 9. And the Necromancers now deal between 29 to 101 damage. Which, you, you know, it's still inconsistent, but at least they do... Like, I think that's 40% damage increase. Maybe 45, but I'm pretty sure it is 40. Alright, Axe Thrower number 2 is, uh, has been afforded. Uh, Phantom Warrior, Phantom Warrior, bring them on. What a joke. Yeah, you can tell that I am not having a good time with this. Not because it is uh, like super difficult, it just... This challenge kind of let me down, to be honest. I was expecting something difficult. I was expecting something, you know, that's actually gonna challenge me for once, but nope. Just another day, another day in the hood. And yeah. The the main the most like the annoying part is that you have to micromanage to crazy a lot, and on on the last waves you need to really you, well you need to rain of fire you need, oh my god I can't speak today. Basically you have to time your rain of fire very very precisely. Otherwise you are probably going to die to the lichens most likely. Also Lucrezia newly dead newly died 23 HP regenerate a little bit wow. That's a very little regeneration, actually. Did she regenerate like 20 HP per second? Wow, 20, 20 HP. Wow, that's uh, very underwhelming. I just realized that. <laughs> Low. Alright, uh, Totem of Weakness, Totem of Weakness, and yeah, we have maxed out Totem of Weakness on this side and this side. And plus, if there's not a lot of enemies, this guy can still toss in another Totem of Weakness up in here. Alright, uh, Lucrezia, you know what to do. Boop. It will be boom, boom, boom. It's like that Minecraft song. I'm a creeper, Minecraft King Reaper, blowing out blocks like Al Qaeda. I'm a creature that will eat you, that will eat you, petrified. Think of my mind, something like that, and I don't remember the rest of the song. Besides, you know, the most obvious part. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember this song like at, almost at all. Like, this song was popular like ages ago. I, I'm still surprised that people still talk about it. I thought that it would, it would die, uh, die off, but apparently no. It is a, some sort of a classic. Sorry, I'm not a professional Minecraft player. I used to play Minecraft like a long time ago as a pro, but that was back in 1.8 or 1.9. I don't remember when I last played it, but it was somewhere around there. Until, you know, recently, politics ended up reintroducing me to Minecraft and I ended up playing it again. And to be honest, the game has changed quite a bit. I don't know like half of the blocks and half the recipes, <laughs> but you know, I'm getting there. I'm starting to get used to it. I'm learning how, to, learning most of the mechanics, and yeah, the game is pretty good. I know a lot of people say that Minecraft is like uh, cringe, but in reality, to me, it's not cringe. That's what I used to think when I was like 14 or so. When I was 14, I was like, "Ugh, Minecraft, that's cringe. No, I'm not playing this. Yes, nope." Yeah, that was that's how I how I used to interpret this game. It was cringe. But now, now looking back at it, it, it was a good game, and it still is a good game. It, if, if anything, it is even better than before. Also, Lucrezia almost died, so that was a nice micro. Okay, Ghost and Gearloofs, as I like to pronounce them sometimes. They're well werewolves. Okay, uh, the Totem of Weakness is gonna expire soon, so I'm gonna wait. That's how you do it. You wait for the Totem of Weakness to respawn, and then you rain a fire. Look at that. Abominations? What abominations? Half of them just died in an instant. The crazy you just finish them off and go. Sure, we lost quite a bit of skeletons, but we're gonna replenish them pretty shortly after. And I am gonna get the Totem of Spirits. Just for the Lycans. I'm not quite... like, sure, we have uh, skeletons for the most part, but we have reinforcements and, uh, and hero. Which, they could potentially turn into a werewolf. At least I think so. I'm not quite sure if the reinforcements count. I'm pretty sure they do. Or maybe that was just in the first game. I don't know. There's something in me that just tells me that uh, reinforcements can be turned into a werewolf spy like it. Uh, could have timed my Reign of Fire a little bit better, but whatever. It is what it is. 
give me that, give me that. Um, what else? You, I suppose. Get archer here and another archer here. And that's pretty much gonna be the, our setup. For the most part, just a ton of weakness uh, in these positions. And the reason why I'm getting this one at the front is because, if you don't know, you can damage Vassile during his cutscene. Which is pretty nice because that way you can get some uh, free, free damage off without any consequences. I think we can do like maybe 400 damage, something like that. Which is gonna be pretty nice. Five lichens, a joke, two ghouls. Oh, 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 oh. Is this supposed to be difficult? Come on, give me something difficult, man. We've been crushing this level. Sure, the early game looked a little bit scary, but that was mostly because uh, I was kind of meh. So, come on. Looking kind of sits. Ding, 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 ding. Alright, um, do this, do this. Wow. Alright, Vampiressa, you're trying to sneak through. How are you gonna make it past this army? By the time you make it like uh, an inch, Lucrezia is gonna make half her ability back and you're gonna get absolutely annihilated. Plus, the total of weakness is helping out quite tremendously. I mean, look at that. Sure, they don't do a lot of damage, like 20 to 40 damage, that's not a lot. But with the total of weakness, I think they do 10 to 20. Yeah, that's uh, very little. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, I guess I guess I angered the gods of, of Kingdom Rush by saying that, because look at that. Now we have to use the Reign of Fire. Alright, eh, I guess, finally, a, a short, uh, a short-lived moment of intensity. I guess it's better than nothing. Let's get another Death Rider. The more stalling power we have, the better. And a group of five Lycans. Low. Low. You think that's, that's scary? I mean, sure, they have medium magic resistance and all, but with all the move weakness, like, I, I don't know how what their magic resistance is. I'm not quite sure if it's like, four, it could be anywhere between, uh, I think, 40 and 59%. So, if it is 40%, then uh, total move weakness pretty much negates it, in a way. Because, you know, enemies take 40% extra damage. Alright, bats and ghosts. Wow. Wow, it's getting easier and easier. What a surprise. <laughs> Yeah, as I said, the late game is by far not not super difficult. It's just the last wave. The last wave really can get you if you don't have the Rain of Fire at, in time. If you don't, then it's pretty much a GG. The, the, the Lycans are gonna just run right through. You're not gonna have enough time to block them and kill them. Ooh, so... What do I want for the Lycans? Probably extra damage. But before that, let's get another Death Rider up in here. Because why not? Maybe I'm gonna put them kind of like this, because they could, there could be some goose popping out of here. So it would be nice to have an additional blocker. Let's ride. Oh yeah, let's ride. Come on, like an, uh, like an uh, zombie abomination ghost, like an Indian of like an in Phantom Warriors. Bring this on, baby. Bring it on. I'm even gonna move Dante at the front, because... I'm feeling confident. Watch out for the voodoo, whatever you say there. Just give me that totem of weakness. And speaking of weakness and all, uh, can we block the abominations? I uh, probably know. Due to the gigantic horde that we have to deal with. Uh, come on, I want to catch at least one of the abom- oh, Come on, catch the abomination. Catch him, catch him! Dante, Dante, stop using your silver bullet. God damn it, Dante. There you go, you finally did it. Lucrezia ended up dying because I wasn't looking, but that's okay. We're gonna do this. There you go. Do a lot of damage uh, primarily right away. Well, not really right away. It, we we could have done it a little bit earlier if Dante wasn't an idiot. But all right. I guess the silver bullet was uh, more important than stalling. Uh oh, you have 12 HP, Jesus. Yeah, you took a beating there, Dante. You took a beating. Oh. And just as I said it, he died. Thankfully, now you can move him with spacebar. You don't have to click on his icon, which is Kinda nice. I noticed it while I was playing Endless Mode. And, you know, that's that's a nice addition. Thank you, Ironhide, for adding that. And he's already back, just in time for the full moon. Let's get that, let's get you, and let's get you. Let's go! Listen to this. Hmm. Just a whole bunch of howling. You know what that means? Lekans! So many lichens with 1100 HP. All right, <laughs> the first one got annihilated like right away. Low. Um, uh, yeah. The the way you do it is pretty simple. You wait for the total weakness to respawn, and then you annihilate. 
Just like that. What a joke. What a joke, man. Lycans, easy. But if you don't have that Arena Fire, though, you are dead. That's that's the way it is. You need that Arena Fire, so... Don't... As much as I like to make fun of this wave, don't underestimate it. It can be difficult. Anyway, Basau is here. Let's damage him. Just like that. As you can see, we took away a, just a tiny bit of his health, but still, it is something. We took like over 400 of his HP, which is not bad. Now, it is time to insta-kill the Vampiresses, because, you know, they are kind of annoying. And, they're, and they are pretty much blocking blocking shots for him, which is something that we don't want to have. Here, here's where Lucrezia Micro is gonna come at most. You need to micromanage Lucrezia like crazy here. You wanna insta-kill as many Vampiresses as possible. Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 no, we got all right. Let's move. Let's move Lucrezia. She took quite a bit of damage, so she can regenerate. Yeah, as you can see, Vasail he's shredding the skeletal knights, but we have the dead riders, and they tank. Let's say that they are they're pretty good at blocking him for some reason. All right, you know what? Let's just kill a few of these vampires, just like that. Uh, actually, we didn't. Well, that sucked. Looking kind of sis. Uh, come on, come on, come on, Lucrezia, please perform the right insta kill because there's a lot of vampires. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, some of them are still alive. Mm, I don't know if I like it. Me don't like it. No, no. All right. Well, at least Vasa is in his second phase, so he should be pretty easy now. I mean, yeah, he has dead aura, bro. Like, you think that's difficult? Look at how easily we're gonna cheese this. Take a look, guys. And uh, we're even gonna move Dante just for extra damage because low low ruffle we can okay uh one two three upgrade one two three upgrade ah i mistimed it but i could have kept him in place for a little bit longer anyway it should not matter because as you can see vasel is going nowhere he's moving but his health is too low man disappointing destroyed well that was a interesting challenge a little bit easy for me but hey at least we did it Hope, my dear viewer, I hope you I hope you are satisfied now, because you've been requir requesting me to do this challenge for a while, and I finally took took your offer. So be grateful, I guess. And yeah, guys. Well, with that out of the way, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future. And while you're at it, drop a like on the video. It means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video. Until it comes, that was King Rexy. Over. And out.